Welcome back to my $1 house series. Last week I shortened the chimney. I actually just got done with that and now I'm gonna work on taking down the shingles. Here's what we're working with. We have normal shingles and then under that is something that was painted with aluminum paint it looks like. And then under that is cedar shingles. This is definitely the worst corner right here. You'll fall through if you get up here. It's very soft. But the whole rest of the roof is hard and we were able to walk up there perfectly fine. For my research it looks like the best thing to do is to take this cap off and then I'm gonna get a shovel and try to take these shingles off from the top. We pulled up three layers of shingles before we got to the original, which is cedar. Tomorrow we'll work on pulling up all of this. I'm at the back of my house right now. You can see these lines on the grass. That's because the electric and the Wi-Fi has officially started. Right now for electric, I've been using an extension cord that runs from my neighbor's house and I plug it into here and I have electric inside. That has definitely been really helpful for when I need electric, but also pretty dangerous because the wiring in this house is very, very sketchy. Hopefully within the next week or two, all of this wiring will be redone and brand new. In my last video, I got a lot of questions about lead paint and asbestos. My my approach for this house since it was built in 1924 is just to automatically assume that everything is lead paint and everything is asbestos. For me this means that I will constantly wear my respirator mask in here anytime I'm doing a project. My respirator mask does block all of that out and I have filters that I change whenever it's needed. Alright now it's time to get started on day two of the roof.
It's now Monday morning. I'm pretty sore this morning, but I'm ready to get started on the roof again because once the roof's done, I'll be able to do a lot more inside. With working on the roof and taking down the ceiling, I've been pleasantly surprised multiple times because this house is extremely dry. So everywhere in the attic has been inspected and there's been no signs of mold at all. Also the insulation up here that all fell down and I shoveled up is cellulose, which means there's no asbestos in that. Okay, let's get started on day three of the roof. It's now Tuesday. I'm gonna show you what's going on so far with the roof. Is this good luck? Is this a good omen? Hello there. Oh my gosh, you're just gonna eat right in front of me. That is so cute. I'm hoping when I have a garden, it'll be my little buddy. Okay, I'm way too distracted by this. I need to get to work. Here's what the roof is looking like so far. My dad and I took all the rotting wood out and we put OSB in its place. This OSB is very solid, but I won't be replacing the whole roof with it because the original wood from 1924 is just as solid or even more solid than the OSB I just bought. Short pieces of wood, I have some wider ones, I have some OSB. My roof is going to have character along with the whole rest of my house. I don't want to gut things that don't need to be gutted. I want to keep the character alive and I want to keep some things from 1924. I just find it so cool. And if it's healthy and I'm able to, I want to keep it. This is the type of wood I'm replacing though. So right here here I'll replace today. Dad's coming at two to help, but before he comes, I want to pull up all of the nails and the wood that we're keeping so that we can move on to the next stage when he gets here. are officially off of the roof. My dad's here to help now. We're gonna replace that end board right there. We're gonna replace all the rest of the rotten wood and then start on the underlayment. Wednesday I drove here this morning and I saw the electrician was working they dug out this trench into the house to get electric see the wiring down here and here's the box 
Here's the hole where he's gonna put the wiring inside the house. But he asked if I could clear out all of this for him to get some work done on Friday, so two days from now. So I'm gonna work on that today. It's too windy to work on the roof today, so it's kinda nice to have another job in its place. But this morning I did go through all the underlayment and put a lot more staples to make sure it doesn't fly off with the wind. It's now Thursday. Yesterday I moved the cabinet and the fridge into the living room because soon I'm going to try to start getting the kitchen completely renovated. So I didn't want the cabinet to stay in there and get damaged. I also moved the fridge because the same thing. I'll be tearing down the ceiling and it would have been in the way right there. Today I'm going to see my nephew, but before I do that, I want to do something fun and quick. So I'm going to give this 1955 Philco fridge a nice deep clean. It's really cool. It came with the owner's manual. So I'm going to frame this and put it above the fridge in the kitchen when it's done. I figured since I'll be able to plug it in soon because I'm getting electric, it'll be nice to stock it up with some drinks and snacks so I can have it during the renovation process. Right now it's very dusty. I'm wanting to get the outside looking this white and shiny. The outside actually doesn't look too bad. It still has all the lettering. It just needs a nice scrub. Inside here's the freezer area and then over here is for butter. I think the butter thing was right here. And then it's cool, all the shelves are labeled. So right here, this actually isn't labeled, but there's an egg accessory in it. There's milk, something right here. I don't even know what that says. And then maybe bottles and then a random spot right there. You can see so much dust. There are a lot of drawers with tape on them, you can see. So I have to figure out what that's about. So under here, there's some tape and stuff going on too. I'm just gonna give it a really deep clean and see how it all looks. Here's the chiller drawer. So I'll put you guys on a time lapse and get it nice and clean and we'll see what we're working with. It's definitely looking way better, way more clean. The inside needs a lot of work still. I need to buy some stuff to help with rust and things like this. Right now, all I used was this Tylex, but inside it still looks pretty funky just because the drawers have this old tape on it. And this looks to be like it was in really bad shape and someone taped it up. So I need to find some better tape that maybe matches the color a bit more or just looks neater. Or I might go on eBay and try to find these drawers and replace them. It's now Friday. The electrician was here all day, so it's already six o'clock, but I want to give you an update on everything he did. I now have a new electrical box downstairs. 
I called to get a meter in. Once the meter's in, I'll be able to have electric from this outlet only. The meter should be coming in Wednesday. All of this wiring up here is now dead. There's, there isn't new wiring yet to the light bulbs or the outlets because the electrician asked me to do two things before he could get started. First thing he asked me to do was get rid of all the walls that I plan on getting rid of before he starts. I do plan on keeping all of the plaster, which is in the dining room, the living room, and both the bedrooms. What I need to do before he can get started is get rid of the drywall in the kitchen, get rid of the drywall here in this hallway, and get rid of the walls in the bathroom. I'm gonna start that project on Sunday, but the second project he said I need to do is get rid of everything in the basement. All of this stuff is the previous owner, so I've been in contact with him trying to work out a day where we can just get everything out like we did on the main floor. Those two projects on Sunday, but tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. I'm starting on the roof and I won't stop until I have it done. Look how beautiful she is. I bought this with the proceeds from my merch. So everyone who bought a t-shirt, thank you so much. I now have a 20 gallon shop vac because of you.